everybody and welcome back to Calmsden Farms for the Bake a Cake Challenge here with me, Farmer Willie B. So I've done a lot of stuff off camera. Um, we're in July now, so it was quite a few months ago since, uh, or quite a few days ago, depending on how you look at it, on the last saw you guys. And yet yeah, we've now got a uh, four four fields here on the the map with some sugar beets so we're going to be getting close to the sugar beet harvest soon i hope i'm going to get one of these at least uh, i've got my oats here which should be almost ready to harvest if not ready to harvest have a look yep they're ready to harvest so that's going to be getting done very soon i've also bought field 31 which was the sheep pasture so i've actually taken the sheep pasture away and i've used that as a grass field i've leveled out an area here i was or i am planning on putting another cow pasture in here to do the beef cattle so but for now i don't think there's any contracts to be had just a bailing contract so we've got a whole container of milk here to go up to uh, Gels' dairy so we're going to take that up and the oats are going to go to the um, CBW's mill to get turned into uh, flour and then go into the bakery to make more bread so there has been uh, a lot going off, uh, going on off camera. The uh, money been fluctuating up and down all the time. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get the first part of this challenge completed very soon. I think it's November for the sugar beets harvest. So. We'll see how we get on there. I'm just waiting for some more contracts to come through. I've got a two two hundred thousand uh, pound loan to pay back, so I'm hoping if all works well that um, that we get the first part of this challenge completed soon. Now I've also got the the sugar mill installed now so it's up and up and almost running once it gets sugar beets in it it'll be running so this one over here where Gels' dairy is is uh, Snowy's sugar mill so that's all ready to get get going the chickens have got a lot of eggs to pick up yep they're almost full but yeah we've got a whole trailer load of cheese here and a couple of other pallets to pick up well one there by the look of it so yeah we're going to go and sell that in a moment and go and find out where the the best place to sell that is i'm wanting to sell it just looking at the the um prices for it it's we're sitting over three thousand at the moment. The highest it's going to get is three thousand five hundred and seventeen. But we're in July, so I'm quite happy to sell it just now. So I'm looking at the the highest price, which is looking like the farmers market. Yeah, we'll just go and sell it at the farmers market. So we'll get the dairy filled up. Twenty seven, nearly thirty thousand liters there. That'll keep the, the dairy going for a, a wee while. So we'll drop this here. And we shall go and get into the Massey and grab that last pallet. the ground a wee bit well, it doesn't look like they fixed the issue with the dancing pallets uh, 
It's not happened as frequently, but it does still happen. Right, perfect. We'll get that strapped in. And then we'll grab the old fent. And we'll grab these and go down to the farmer's market, which should just be behind me, I would imagine. Or this could be the one further down the road. Yep, it's the one further down the road. That's fine. So we shall go and take all this cheese over and get it sold. And we've also got a lot of grass to get um, bailed up. The cows are getting very low on the hay. So we're going to go and get that all bailed up on the both fields. And I'm not sure if I want to change the sheep pasture into another field put a different crop on it maybe uh, I might just do that yet but at the moment I'm quite happy with keeping see how many bales I get off the big fields that probably do to feed the cows and use the other field to turn that into silage no no don't follow her Ooh, very top heavy So yeah, we are fairly getting through this challenge. It's taking longer than than I would have thought, but I'm wanting to I'm wanting to drag it out a bit. You know, I don't want to complete the challenges too quickly. I've got another two challenges in the works, um, or the two challenges for the baker's dozen and my old stream farm challenge so I've still got them to do hopefully I'll get round to them soon and I've also still got the farmer envoys challenge which was the survival challenge on no man's land so yeah I've got, got a lot going on but uh, I want to get this finished first this challenge so We got 75,000 off that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, hold on a minute. I'm not going to stride between these two rocks here. Can't get a full swing round. So what we're going to do is go up to the shop after. I'll leave the, the milk container at the dairy at the moment. And I'll pick that up later. <coughs> And we'll go and grab the tedder and go and ted the fields. And then we will grab the windrower and baler and we will get all the bales done. Is that wheat? Oh yeah, wheat. Yeah, we should get these uh, these contracts up soon to to harvest all these fields. So, or at least a couple of the fields. And there's the rain started. Perfect, just what I needed. Probably going to lose some of the yield now on my crop. Will I? I don't know. For the grass, if I ted it to try and dry it, it's just going to really doesn't make sense does it to dry it well, I don't know how long the rain will be lasting we'll have a look at that and see how long it's going to be on for We'll just park the trailer in between the two the two coops here. Awesome. 
then we might as well just take this back down with us at the moment since we're heading back that way now we could probably start filling this up again as well so we've got plenty plenty milk being produced now so So I hope everybody's having a good day with whatever you're doing. Hopefully your day is a nice day. It's, um, it's about just after six o'clock in the morning for me. So on this recording here on Saturday. So I'll hopefully get this video out tonight or tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah, so I kind of made a big decision on the equipment that I had and I decided the, the decision I made was not to bother buying certain equipment, uh, for example, cedars, plows, cultivators and stuff. Um, I'm not really using them much. I've noticed that you don't, once you, you've done the contract, you're waiting literally a whole year before you're able to use them again. and. I just made the decision that I'm not going to bother with having them owned. I'll just lease them if I need them for myself or just borrow them from the main contract itself. Um, but yeah. Oh, better shut that up. Don't want to get in filled with water. Perfect. So. Yeah, as you can see here, I kind of flattened flattened this out a little bit. It's left a, a couple of ridges along the edge here, but kind of smoothed them out. So the plan is to put another cow pasture in here for beef cattle. But with the way the the um, the challenge is going at the moment, I think I'm, I might just hang off on it just now. But I don't know. We'll see how how things go. Right, the weather. When are we getting sunshine? Ten o'clock. Oh, it shouldn't be. Uh, should be all right then. So it's only going to be lasting an hour. That's fine. Right, I shall see you guys uh, back at one of these fields with the equipment to get started on the uh, the tedding and the baling. Welcome back everybody. So I'm just taking a quick swing in here at the yard and noticed that my tractor's getting a little bit low on fuel here. So we're gonna go and fill her up. So yeah, I decided to get rid of the big sprayer. Uh, well, I got rid of the sprayer, the cultivator, the, the cedar and the large fertilizer spreader that I had so I've gone for this little guy here uh, a full tank of this is actually just enough to do field number one which is quite a large field so yeah I thought well there's no point in if I can get one field that size done with the one uh, one full tank of the fertilizer then I don't really see the need to spend out so much money on filling up for say 12,000 liters of when I could do it for 3,000 or I think it's 3,900 liters I'm not 100% sure right so yeah I'm wondering if this would actually work or if I'm going to use lose lose yield on this Right. Right, so we'll get this all tedded up and yeah the cows are looking a bit a bit hungry just now. They're very low on um on hay. So we're gonna get as much of this bailed up as we can and give them give them their hay and see what 
is left over we'll just put into the fermenting silo I'd like to thank everybody who's been watching so far and enjoying the content and to all my new subscribers I'd like to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel and the other um, the other YouTube content creators that are doing this challenge are Rusty Money Gaming Jelsa Farmer Mayor Cobbler or Cobbler Farms himself he's the one that created this challenge so if you if you're interested in the challenge hop on over to the farming simulator challenges on the Facebook page run by Rusty Money on uh, the discord which I think I've got the link to the description in the description I'm not 100% sure if I don't I'll put it in the description for the uh, Rusty Money's discord channel you can find all the information on the challenges there as well great little community there the uh, barnhouse chat so yeah I suggest you go and have a have a look at that and um, chaotic farmer is now a new one that's doing this challenge so yeah there's there's a few of us doing it Jelsa farmers uh, finished his challenge uh, the last video that um, that I watched was that the challenge was completed so yep yeah, congratulations to Jelsa farmer there for completing the challenge uh, Jelsa Farmer is he's one that loves to do a lot off camera so uh, a lot of the content towards the challenge was, was mainly done off camera so I like to do s as much as I can off camera um, but I don't want to do too much to a point where I'm thinking to myself well, what am I going to put in my video now because I've just done everything and I've not really got anything to put into the video. So, yeah. So I try not to do too much uh, time lapses and too much off camera, but in this challenge I've done quite a fair bit. Most, most of the time I was fast forwarding time just to be able to get some sort of contracts on or some sort of you know work to do so to speak so what I think I'll do is do this field Ted this field first go and grab the wind rower on the baler and we shall get this all picked up and we shall go and feed it to our cows and see what we're if we're left with anything on this field and whatever's left and then the other field beside the cow barn will go into the fermenting silo that's the the plan that's the idea hopefully it works out that way It's so interesting to see how many different ways people have done this challenge. Some of us have just taken it head on. Some of us have taken completely different routes um, as to how they want the, the challenge to progress for them. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So as I say, I'm, I'm hoping to get stage one completed very soon once I get the sugar beet contract get the sugar made in the if we just stop that a second um, what are we looking for here yeah here the cake I've only got sugar and flour to do so I can get more crops put into the field by the shop that I've got after the oats are done because this flour will go into uh, making bread uh, and then once the sugar is done then I'll get more flour made up for the cake and then we'll get a pallet of cakes made 
and then we've got to make the ultimate decision of how we're going to progress for phase number two or stage two so in stage two basically got to have 500,000 in the bank and no loan at the end of it so if I get 500,000 in the bank and I have 100,000 loan I've got to pay the loan off first so yeah there, there's you know what do I want to do do I want to take the route of I mean I could I could I could sell everything before I finish stage one and I could sell everything I have and then sell the cakes once stage two comes along I've pretty much completed it straight away but I don't think that's going to be the f that's not the fun of the challenge so I have a um, an idea of selling my equipment and basically starting again not starting the whole challenge again obviously but starting the cha the stage two with fresh equipment and I should have a, a, a bit of money left over and if I have enough I'll buy another field and then we can do some crop work to build up the money for getting the 500,000 and you know paying off the loan and stuff like that I may even take out another loan to buy my new equipment and buy some more land which would be which would be quite good as I, I have a bit of an idea there so I could take out the loan uh, to buy a field and we could do some crop work um, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll, about the animals I might just um, I might just keep the animals actually because if I do that then I'll have to get rid of all the production chains or I can just deactivate them uh, yeah we'll see how it goes there's, there's, there's so many ways I can do this so I mean the thought is to have the loan buy a piece of land and do just you know root, uh, crop crop work to build up the money for uh, and grass work as well so we can do grass work and uh, you know do the the bales um, silage bales and stuff and sell them off so yeah there's there's different ways we can do this uh, I'm, 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 I'm liking the idea of taking the loan out and getting a field if, if I don't have enough money after selling my equipment so yeah So this this, um, this version I've got here is the original version of Calms, and I never updated the I updated it, but I didn't start a new game save. So the collectibles I have 96 out of 100. I I'm not sure if I can't find them because of the the map was updated, and maybe that's why I can't find them. Uh, I couldn't even find the winter one, which was annoying so I don't know if that is the case the map needs to be restarted on a new game save I know there was a couple of the collectibles that were hard to get because of not being updated so but we are getting there we are getting there so what I'm going to do is finish up this little bit here and I will go and grab the the baler on the windrower and I shall meet you guys back here at the field welcome back everybody so I've done the baling on that field now I managed to get 12 large bales out of there so now I'm just heading back to the shop to go and grab the trailer to go and load the bales up and then we're going to go and feed them to the cows and see where that takes us with them. 
Also, I'm, I'm wondering if anybody will be able to tell me, what's the best thing to do with the manure and the slurry? Would it be best just to sell it at the markets, or would it be best to give it to the biogas plant? Uh, because from what I was... Well, from what I knew before, if you did it in 19, uh, the biogas used to pay you out uh, a sum at, at the at midnight. But it doesn't do it with this one. It seems to turn it into digest day and, you know, uh, fuel and stuff like that. So... I'm not sure what to do with all the manure. I mean, I could I could probably just use it and uh, like the slurry, I could probably just throw all over the fields and stuff like that. Um, I've got quite a bit of it anyway. But like, what would be the the best thing to do with it? Uh, I mean, I could just sell it to the the highest price, going for like the farmers market or something, um, or you know, is there a way that you can actually get the biogas plant to pay you at midnight? Um, or would you just not own it? Or, you know, I'm not sure with 22, it was so easy with uh, 19 because you just gave it the biogas plant and they just paid you for it. But now with all the productions and that in 22, there's so many options. Uh, it's hard to pick the best one. Right. We are going to pick up these bales and we are going to go and give them to our cows. Remember what size these are. 8,000 litres. That should give us enough for our cows, I think, for 12 bales. What do you guys do with your cows when you have them do you do you like to feed them just hay or do you like to feed them tmr or just grass i would like to do the tmr but i think it's a lot of work at the moment um maybe in uh, the second part of the the challenge that could be something we could be doing making tmr for the cows uh doing the the crops and and stuff like that so it could be something so how many have we got there 10 and I've got two in the other field because I wanted to fill up the baler I don't even know why I put my lights on but never mind At 10 o'clock in the morning well 11 in the morning right we get this last two bales here and then we shall go and put them in the in with the cows. I know, you're hungry. I know, I can hear you. I'm coming with it. such a tight fit around the, the farm. But we get there. We get there with it. Yeah, I know. I need to get straw in with you as well. Don't worry. Uh, other way. I think they just ate all of that, but never mind. Let's just put this round here just now, because I will need that again for when I do the other part of the, the field. Just turn around and have a look, see what... If that other bale is too far away, we could push it in. There we go. Well, I think they're full. 
Oh yeah, look at that, they're full. I've got these ones coming close to selling. But I've got the Angus in here as well. I've got 15 of them, so I'll just probably just leave it at that. I'm not sure about getting the other cow barn just now, so if I was going to do that, I really should have done that at the very be, you know, a lot earlier in the in the challenge. Right, so uh, oh, I manure. I'm just wondering if uh, I've got a full tank of manure there. I think we're going to sell that. grab this and we shall take this down to the the highest buying point at the moment really handy trailers these these are like amazing trailers and uh, remember which one this is called again uh trailers 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 where are we it is the lizard trans 70 it is an amazing trailer amazing trailer right so we've got seventy thousand liters of that stuff oh we got a cultivating contract uh field 17 do 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 now there's the here's the kicker do i borrow the items and lose five grand Or do I accept the contract and lease and lease one? Lease the cultivator. Would it work out cheaper or would it work out more expensive? I mean we're talking that one there, so it's probably gonna be about yeah, six grand. It's probably just cheaper just to get theirs. So, right, let's see where this manure is going. So we shall borrow those items for that and I shall probably do that off camera uh, what are we looking for manure 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 right the biogas plant wholesale 50 52 right let's go and see where is that going that'll be the wholesale near me near my uh, near Jelsa's dairy right you don't get much money from manure but oh no that's too heavy too heavy oh yeah I know it's another thing oh no don't get stuck in the gate it's another thing whether I'm going to get up that hill This could be interesting. No, no, slow down, slow down. No. Oh, look at that. Yes, I saved it. I saved it. Indestructible brick walls. Oh, I tried to take a run at that hill there, but it wasn't happening. It's amazing how they've incorporated the weight of things that uh, are a huge importance in this game. If you do not have the equipment to pull anything up the hills that are heavy like this, then you can forget it. <laughs> it really pushes you to, do I really want to have to go and buy a piece of equipment that is going to really be strong enough to pull this and it's going to cost me an arm and a leg? So I'm thinking in the the next episode 
that we will have the other bales done and ready and the cultivating contract will be probably started actually uh, that will give us something for the next episode um, and our field with the oats will get harvested in the next in the next episode so that's what I'm looking at doing for the next episode because then that will give us I don't want to do too much more off camera now because as I said before the more I do off camera oh, the less I have content wise to put in a video and then I have to go through another month or so and try and get more content created you know so we've got plenty of eggs I need to get sorted as well so Yeah, we got 3,673 out of that. Oh, that's fine. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back over to the chicken area. Right. Well, everything seems to be fitting quite nice and snug in here as I say with the um, snowy sugar mill um, that should get sugar beets in soon as I was saying before we've got the four fields now we've got with uh, sugar beets in so I'm hoping to get at least either this one number 13 or number 1 now I know the, these are going to take me a long long time to do so these will definitely be done off camera uh, because sugar beets take forever and a day to do but yeah we'll definitely get our one our field harvested next and uh, then I'm going to decide what I want to do with this field 31 whether I'll keep it as grass or um, turn it into another field um, for the second part of the challenge I mean there are other fields I mean there's field four there and um, some of these really big ones but this one this one here would be quite a nice one 387,000 for that 460 uh, field number 10 is there as well so that's 230 field number seven which will be next to our field which would be quite a good one actually 277 we could take the grass off that and then uh, we could make a nice big field out of that so yeah there's plenty we're going to be doing in the next episode uh, but for this episode I'm going to cut it here guys and if you um, if you enjoyed the content please leave a like it really helps the channel and leave a comment in the comment section below and yeah if you're new please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you're in notified of every upload I put up and with that, guys, have a lovely day, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.